in a rematch, should that be the case? But instead, it's quick hits going up top. It's Hayes and Wardell to open things up in the B site. Now completely free as Wardell goes deep to that defender sided spawn. Gimon taken off the board. The spike yet to be planted, and they just want more blood here. Wardell continues <laughs> pushing towards this team, and he continues to find it, not taking any licks of damage from Genji. At middle, they do try to smoke out Wardell, but he finds a sliver that he can shoot through and finds win and gets all the intel of the mid push. And if you don't buy armor, 101 damage to the body is just enough from the marshal. Now that regrowth going to be used to top him off. There's another shot. Finds <laughs> its mark on target. And Wardell looking to have himself a game here on a set. Has the blades available already. And it's looking to be, yes, another flawless bounce. Did they look to make a push? Two going to be spotted out towards A main. So quite a bit of information as the daggers go through. Wardell able to find the kill on his counterpart and the backstab to Mikhail. He's looking for more GMD, trying to send the shots, but again. Bog, Bogdan's Law. That's a throw back to CSGO days. We're going to see the pressure on Calama. So Rosa holds his ground. And now Joan and Wardell pitch and recover the spike. They have a four on two. Just when you thought Jin G were putting up some resistance, Sub Rosa and company say absolutely not. Oh, good balance. I would like to see Jin G start to put up some resistance here soon. But it doesn't look like this is going to be the round, Tanner. Again, this. Oh, God. There's no stopping him. It's the. No, sure. Still can be quite. Oh, oh, my God. There it is. No way. Oh, no. Another flawless round. Sounds flawless. Yeah. Oh, jinxed it though as Sean goes to work with the sheriff. Quite possibly stop that from the shadows from coming on through. Now we're in a 5v5 retake. Make it only eight players on the map as Sean continues to go to work. Able to find two with the sheriff in the last. Needs to find some more. But Wardell just continues to find target. 22 HP as Sabrosa will finally fall. Simon gonna use that shroud and step for Wardell again. Here. When one snuck out with the drone there. It's GMD to find that first kill. Now looking to find their first round as they're up a player. Wardell still on the line here. Hayes trades one kill back, trades another through the cloud burst, and we go even. Wardell sniffs out the flank. The lockdown available. Quinn barely misses out on spotting Cutler there. Now Kusta, I mean, there's not much he can do. He's got the spike. He's able to nest egg right on top of it. But there's maybe some ways forward for Sean to get a kill and dismiss his way out. Wardell oh, no. watching though. There's Kusta down, no crossfire. Logs unchecked so far, but it's only good for one. As Mikhail trades that kill back onto Hayes. So a two for two across the board. Mikhail able to follow just yet and narrowly escaping with his life. The wall bang, not gonna find its mark just yet. Recon bolt gonna be taken down by Quinn. Tossed out a conference of his own. The shock guard is there to find the kill. Drone goes huge. Now a 1v2. Mikhail needs to keep the same energy. Needs to match Drone, but he's running out of time. And a 1v2, he finds a spray down. It's a 3k on the round as Wardell holds the angle with the operator. He's gonna get swung, but he finds the kill either. Lay into this site. Smokes are down on Mark and in back. Halls Drone catches Kusta trying to creep in. Paranoia. Responds, but not for long. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Wait, back on the board with three, and it's all up to Wardell. We'll see if he can continue doing it. Operate a situation like this with that plant. You're you're only good for one. And to come in with the seekers and lay onto the safe side. And right behind it, as Gimon tries to escape, Mikhail gonna find the first kill though, and it actually deters the push entirely. Hayes was able to trade one over towards that mid area, and back and forth we continue. Yeah, time is a problem, and Gimon. Oh, he pulls. Okay, never mind. He gets out of the hole fast enough to stop the spike from coming through, and off the clock, this should be a victory wow. for there. Wow. Twenty-three kills for him, twenty-six kills in total for Genji. Make that twenty-seven, thanks to win. I work away from that here towards A side. They're sliding up. They've gotten into sight. So Rosa gets a. In the meantime, so wow. Wardell dashes in for two with the daggers, and all of a sudden, they've taken control of the round. And Wardell, off bike down. You hear that ticker? It starts to speed on up. You start to sweat in the hand. You start to get pressured as Wardell swings on through. He only finds through in the round before being sat down. But in a 1v2 TSM, they play their sixth man in the club. Help when he needed it. Genji, look at the kind of something similar on their own pistol round. Look at the try to get that market B lobby pinch. And indeed, they are going to make headway here. Drone alone on site. Good for one. Lower on HP. Went on the site. Going to trade some damage out. On to Hayes. Unfortunately, he's going to be traded himself. As all three players are going to swing and peaks up. Broza picks up one knee. The wall there, I guess, through the floor of heaven. That definitely hurts. 
Lightning light going on through. Mikhail jumps away from that one. Escusa finds the first. Looking for another 3k. Not able to find it. And Cutler and Hayes start to battle back. It's classics in hand. It's right clicks, but it's whiffs, unfortunately. At the very least, TSM making the bonus. Not going to be much of a bonus. We'll see what they decide to force up. Mikhail gets spotted out. And again, Win is so low on HP. GMD needs to be huge here for this squad. And Cutler... Not gonna look to go for it here. Has a marshal in hand and might just send it for the death at the through heaven once more. Trying to find some chip damage. Not gonna find just or nearly as much. Sean to find the first onto Wardell once more. A huge weapon taken off the board of TSM. Placing sentry. They're down a man. Nine players remain on the server. Four for TSM. NG. One to the good. Wait on the other side of dice, unfortunately in a bad Player spot, standing. but they're just fine and the kills all around it. Sabroza, low HP, cannot heal himself with the regrowth. He's going toe to toe with Sh yeah, It's a lot of utility thus far. Oh, here we go. No, it's actually going to be a quick hit. The blow oh, is wide. Hayes is able to sit down, win, but it's traded right back. Sean the dismiss to try and get away, but he's right into the seeker. Drone managed to get on the board, taken off Gimond. And here we go, TSM finally on either side. Sean now since being spotted from Cutler on the side. They go one for one. Zabroza finds another and Cutler to close it out. Be devastating if Jinji commits these nano swarms. Ooh. Find the shot's gonna go wide and now needs to be careful as he's got the trifecta out towards mid. Zabroza finds the first tree on lockdown for the sky here on TSM. The guiding light to find the flash, but Sean, the timing will sim side of things, so that could give them. A couple of big tools to use to still come from behind, and now no they don't even have way. to. It's Hayes finds a huge headshot, slowing down the attack. He gets pushed off with an nail swarm, but Huynh gets caught in the middle. Time is running low. Spike finally making it into an empty B site. But, oh no, drones right here! Gusta gets the kill, but now he has no time to plant the spike. What a chaotic round. TSM stalling out Genji till the end, catching a couple of big kills. Hayes' kill at Cat was so pivotal. Yeah. And now TSM are looking like they're about to cross the finish line. And it was it was right after Sean found a beautiful timing kill onto Sabroza, being flashed by the lockdown available to try to hold off the retake, but a counter lockdown is available for TSM. Plus, they have Hunter's Fury to shoot down Genji's lockdown. So that's going to be the big factors in this. And the Empress now dethroned as Drone picks up two. The Operator going to come online again here in this round. We're at 3v2. The lockdown's used. The Hunter's Fury traded, and Kusta now needs to be the hero to keep Genji. In this one, the Cosmic Divide, the Recon Bolt, the push on through, but the 3k... To kind of keep tabs, but playing it from the garage, like you said, it was a stack towards A side, so a bit of a dice roll didn't pan out, and they have to just play retake. Which, they have all their utilities still available to set up the retake. Four players on site, one towards the back of Long C here in the post plan for Genji. It's gonna be Kusta, he's been spotted. Oof. He's running right into both of the duelists there. Sabrosa just runs him down. They're running gun with the frenzies coming online as Cutler. It's on the board as well. Sean and Mikhail, though. They've got different ideas for this round as the hot hands go through. TSM need to pick it up if they want to try and find a round win. They're working against the clock once more. Now the clock, the sixth man for Gen G as Sabrosa goes for the defuse. Mikhail, the last one standing here. A 3k on the round. Sabrosa finds the kill. But then to the round and... For TSM, you kind of just have to throw yourself at it. You definitely don't want to take this save bonus, a thousand credits you get. Absolutely hurts that economy going into that buy round, and we'll see if maybe they can hurt some of the economy of that bonus. There wasn't a whole lot of a bonus uh, on Ascent in that second round. So Bros are able to find the first. John trades one back, and... I mean, they're playing quite far. Okay, it does look like they are headed in to try and go down to the spike there. Sabroza just looking, continuing to fight here. Will of see over the top of that smoke. Three from Gen G. Oh my goodness, Hayes through the smoke is able to find two. Gimon trades it back, but Hayes playing onto the back of the site. Able to pick up another a 3k on the round. Gimon looks to match, but he's shut down. That's the spike on the ground. The gravity well. They're trying this headshot onto wow. Mikhail, who was out towards C-Long. So yeah, they weren't even very close for the wall bang. As oh, wow. Gimon going right back to his killing ways. Wardell able to stunt it for now. Cutler's there to back him up again, and he picks up two. Gen G completely stuffed on their first rifle. That's that insane. Before they have to go huge here. I can't believe that's happened to them. They did such a good job countering TSM's mid aggression oh and pushing them back. And then he location he can no longer threaten a lobby. He has to forfeit it over to Gen G, 
who also have their own run it back still in play. Wardell oh, catching Gwyn with the blinding Steve. shot. Now still holding the angle here at long. They're peeking up. It's too easy for him as they creep forward. He's just able to tally more frags on the board. And now another has been spotted. He's able to dash away from the fire. This is not looking good for Jinji. And there it is. Cosmic Divide to cut the map in half. Now you can't play up towards this C-Long area unless you want to go in blind. And who's still looking left. to do just that? Has since snuck inside of that corner. Don't look at a flash on the opposite side with the curveball. Mikhail was able to pick one up onto Sabroza, so things are getting a bit scarier here. As Kusa has since mounted his position, but Wardell finds a third on the round, and Cutler is there. Hand in hand, they work together as Mikhail finds himself with 10 seconds on the clock in a 1v3 situation. Wardell will find the gives. The SM so much more. This is why you're seeing Gen G. They're forced to go hit B. They're forced to go hit C. And there it is again. Another kill to come through for Cutler. He finds another oh, on the way out. So Bros is there to back him up. And the spray down A. goes huge. Often, very often for TSM, as Wardell finds another kill onto Mikhail, you just can't challenge the operator. Again, these Paced. opening picks from TSM yeah. being aggressive on the edges of the map. It's just a consistent theme that has absolutely ruined Genji, but come on, finally try to peek over towards this A-Link area. He has the blades online as well. Drone gonna go out. Hopefully find some information for this squad. Paranoia gonna deny the information as Gimon just throwing everything he can at this round. There's the run it back. Wardell going up top with the knives. The run it back will be sent back, but it's still a 2v2. And TSM are running out of time. Now they spot out one. The curveball spots, or flashes his teammate rather. And Wardell goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean, but Sean with the three. There's Fury comes into play as well from Mikhail, trying to clear some angles so his teammates can press onto the site, which they do. And Drone gets caught by Sean. Wardell quick to respond. And so is Cutler. And if Wardell is there, you have to assume the rest of the team close behind him to make sure that he's able to stay alive. They do just that. It's a near flawless. Them to put these immediate Hunter Fury being popped here. So Rose using it to get aggressive at middle. They get the open pick yet again. You're out. Another one, and that's spiked down, Dust. Ouch. Knots on target from Huynh. Wardell sits him down again. It's an eco round for Gen G. They didn't have the best to work with. Surely this wasn't the outcome of oh, the rifles. Again, we're seeing the A battle commence and Subrosa and Wardell combine and they can't even punish Subrosa going for Orb. Oh no. This just looks over, doesn't it, Tanner? Yeah, at, at the yeah, it is. Looking that way, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't have... It's so hard to just string together anything that Gen G can do here. It's so oppressive. TSM just have the reads. And on top of that, they're just winning the fight. It's a nice dink there from Hayes. as he 9 to 3 doesn't feel a whole lot better. Sabroza wow. swings on that. No healing options available to get him back up as well. So we'll see if Gen G's retake can be as effective as TSM's was. Wow. They, they're they thinking Cutler is in spawn, right? Hanging out with 22 HP, just trying to do something cheeky. Frenzy shot's gonna be traded out for Frenzies, it sounds like. Pushing out down C long in this spawn side. On the opposite side, though, Sabrosa My going goodness. huge, and it's a flawless round once more for TSM. Just look else while the play happens over towards this A site. It is one gun to be picked up as Wardell looks to take a bite with the Bulldog. No, it's all bark as Gimon sits it down, but Cutler and Drone going right back to work for the TSM squad in the round that we're expecting to go the way of TSM. a jam, so they will detour over to Seaside. Gimon catching Hayes in the process and spotting Subrosa in Garage, but Subrosa will lay claim to it instead, taking out Sean, getting into window, putting the pressure there. Could even cut off rotations at B-Link and spawn as C will be the site of the spike plant. Run it back still available as well for TSM if they feel it's required in this four on three post plan. Yeah, and I mean, there's no reason not to just send it, right? Obviously, they could choose not to use it and still win the round, but if Gen G start to string rounds together, you have so many rounds to restack that one up. As Wardell finds one on a kill, Gimon gonna trade it back, and Gimon has just been doing so much for Gen G. Unfortunately, just falling short time after time. Once more, he finds a 3k on the round, but it's Wardell with the full armor. As Gimon looks to find his way onto the flank, unfortunately not going to find too much there, but Huynh is there to back it up. Sabrosa now fallen in a 4v4. 
Gen G starting to battle back, and it's the best time because you only have this last round to waste, and it's Demon continuing to do what he does best for the champ, but has no impacts. And both Hunter Furies traded out. Demon is there. Mikhail right behind him to find some kills, and Demon feeling himself picks up the operator, but there's the flank you spoke about, Dust. It's Hayes backstabbing one. Demon to find another. Down. And nothing, nothing to chip away at the planter, nothing to stop the plant. They just have to go full force in a 5v5 retake. Now, Genji do have that arsenal advantage. Rifles across the board with an operator here in the hands of Huen. Neural Theft available with that plant. They run it back online as well. Hot Hand's going to come on through. He's going to push Drone away. Playing on the Nebula Smoke. He's able to pick up one, but it's traded right back. Two for one we go. Genji on top. There's the Neural Theft. The op shot up close and personal. But now Wardell needs to go huge, and he can't find the sewers. But will it? No, it gets shot by Lin, so they still may not know about Gamon's position. It could be huge. Ooh, hot Hand's out. Two kills to come through. His Cutler was going into the Astral form as well. Ordell's there to trade it back, but two for one, a favorable trade as Gimond continues to, confra to frag here for this Gen G squad. He's been such a driving force for this team, constantly picking up these multi-kills, mm. and he does it again. They cut TSM down to the last two. Now Drone needs to do something here. He's got some utility. Hazed right behind him, who's had a couple of kills on the round himself and has the neural theft, yeah. so they have some tools but it's looking like an 8th for Gen G. Yeah, you, you have to give yourself a chance to win before you would commit the Neural Theft. So maybe if they can get a pick here from Garage on Kusta or something like that, they would consider it. They are able to put some damage into Kusta. Kusta staying inside the cages, however. And now Sean is set up on logs with the crossfire, leaving Drone alone. And not long for this world, Sean doubles up. And again, though, that belt to spin around. Great trade. Another stressful round, but Gen G are continuously reeling them in. They've now won six in a row. We haven't seen a win out of TSM in quite some time because of that. Yeah. But now they're fully decked out again. Full rifles. The Operator. They have the Run It Back available for Sub Rosa. They have the Neural Death still in play from Hay. No shock darts to stop the plant, so it will go down. Mm -hmm. And TSM look to close it out. Gen G look to hang on and find double digits. They have Hunter Fury. 5 on the retake. The paranoia goes through all five members. Sabrosa cuts yeah. down two inside Garage. We're down to find another, and this could be it. As Kusta hops up, Sabrosa finds a 3K on the round. Make it four.